Hey, this is Kevin with the team at Owlish, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take an online course that you create in Owlish and add it to your Square or Square Up website. Now, Square a few years ago purchased Weebly, so this is sort of a, the new version of Weebly, so you can say kind of like also known as Weebly. <laughs> um, when you sign up for a new Weebly site, you're automatically redirected to sign up for a new Square website. So if you're using the old Weebly website editor and you know that you are, we do have another tutorial for that and I can put uh, a link to that in the description of the video. Um, but if you sign up for Weebly slash Square for a website in the past, uh, let's say since maybe 2022 around that time, you, there's a good chance you're using the new interface, the new website builder interface for Weebly. So anyway, with that out of the way, let's get started. And again, you'll recognize when I get into the website editor whether this looks like what you are using or not. If it's not, you can use the other um, tutorial for this. I'm going to integrate something called, um, let's do the clinical interview course. This is a course I built in Owlish. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, and we can go in and you can just see it's all ready, ready to go. Some of these lessons are published, some of them are not. I'm still working on a few of these. Uh, but I want to embed this into my Weebly, or actually Square website. I can preview it just to get an idea for how this is going to look. This is just the preview version. Um, this is not what it will look like in your Weebly site, but this is how this is what we're going to be putting into the website. So you'll see what it looks like after. So let's get started. I'm going to go to Settings here after I've logged into my Alice account, and I'm going to go to Integrate. Now at this point, I'm going to click on Weebly, although we'll probably add... Um, the square logo as well down the road to this so that people can you know use that as well if they're confused but for now let's click on weebly i'm going to give this a name this this is basically like a nickname so my weebly site um, or you can say my weebly square site and then i want to make sure that i'm giving the exact url so i've gone to my weebly site i've picked up the the url and it is this so you can stick that in here and I'm going to add, I don't, I think I don't have to, but I can still add the HTTPS. Most of the websites are going to have this, not just HTTP. So the S is usually kind of required. So good chance that that's what it is. And I'm going to create, click create here. Oh, all right. So we have an error. Please enter a valid URL. So what's the issue? Let's just kind of check. And we can see quickly that we have a little space at the end. So just make sure to take that off. Let me try again. And that works. All right. So now we've we have this new entry at the top. We've been redirected to something called the Connected Sites page, actually. So the other way to get to this page is just go to Settings, Connected Sites, and you'll get here. Uh, I'm just going to click right here on this new client ID code that it gives me. And there's two steps to this. It's a two-step process. So the first step I'm going to do is select my course. Now, I have a choice. I can either um, put all of them as a grid or list on my page and that's one option and if I do that you can see this says all or I can actually select what specific course I want to integrate so I'm going to actually choose clinical interview and then I'm going to grab this copy it and then I'm going to go to my new square online site or Weebly site and what I'm going to do is go to the uh, menu over here where it says website click the down arrow I'm going to click edit site and I'm in the actual builder, the main builder now. So first of all, you can create, um, fairly easy to just create a new page where you want to put your, your your course. And it doesn't have to be on your home page. You can put it anywhere on your, on your website. Um, I have created a page called free course. I'm going to actually put it here. Um, though I'm not sure if I'm charging for this. Let me just check that real quick. That might be interesting. Am I charging for this course? I can do quickly see by seeing what I'm charging as a price. Now I could change this price and make it whatever I wanted, but right now I'm making this free. So let's go to my free course page that I created earlier. I created this a few days ago. And I just have some text, like this is a basic text block here. You don't even have, you know, this doesn't need to be here, but I, I want to add a little instructions above it just because this is a demo course. Um, but the main thing for you, for you if you're doing this is you want to click on the plus button up here and probably add a new section. So I'll add a new section and it'll make it a new one here. And then in this section, I'm going to navigate down until I find the embed code option. And I'm going to just click on this. Now just by doing that, it threw this in here. Um, it's going to give you a few different styles. You can either have it where there's a little bit of text above or you can put it on the side like this. 
I'm going to use this one because I want the full width uh, for the embed code. And then what I can do is close this up. Uh, did that work? No, it did not work. Let me try again. A little tricky there. So again, go down to embed, add this in here, and then I click add. That's the one thing I forgot to do. Now I'm going to go, and I don't really want these in here. So what can I do? I can actually just toggle them off. Disable that, and then disable that. And now I just have my embed code box, and I can just paste the code that I grabbed from before. So that's it. I should be able to now um, click done here, and this is somewhat ready to go. Um, let's publish this and just test real quick. So I'll just click this here, and then I'm going to go to my free course page, and I can see that the course is loading here, which is great. Um, all right, so you can see that what was in the preview before was full width. Now this is kind of in a box, so you can um, see that you can probably adjust some of these um, margins in, in your website editor. You can uh, look into the Weebly documentation on how to do that. But overall, this is ready to go. The problem is, if I actually um, were to log in, all right, now I'm just going to show you what a login looks like. So I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to get my code from my email. One second. Okay, and I can go in here, copy this code, come back to my course site, paste it in, and now I'm, I should be logged in with a simple refresh. Okay, so I'm logged in. Now, if I want to resume the course, what will happen is that it only shows the course in this limited box, which is not terrible, but it's also not ideal. I would prefer it to be full screen. So we're going to do one more step to make that fully compatible. We're going to go back to um, our dashboard. We're going to go to Connected Sites. We're going to find our website. Click on that again. And then this second step is going to be important. So we're going to put this in um, Settings, Tracking Tools, and Add Custom Header Code. So let's just grab this here. And I'm going to go back again to my Weebly site or Square site. I'm going to exit the editor here. And then I'm going to go down to Tracking Tools. So Settings, uh, you can see settings and then tracking tools now here oops it's loading again i'm going to go to where it says add custom header code i'm going to add that i'm going to just name it alish courses whatever I can, I can name it whatever i want paste that in there and save so now what should happen is if i i'm going to clear my um cookies i think let's actually not let's not do that Let's just do a hard reset. I think the way to do that on Firefox is um, in, an, in a Mac, it's Command-Shift-R, but you can see how it is, what it is for Chrome. And I do a full refresh. This kind of clears the cache out, and you can see by doing that, we now see a full screen experience of the course, which is what I prefer. I want to be able to see the course as a learner without having to see it boxed in that little teeny box. So adding that extra code helps that. Now if you added the code and it's not showing up again, you might want to go to your browser and clear your, your cookies and, and site data for that website, for your own website, and that will help clear it out so it, this loads the next time. And again, if I'm done, I can close it up and go back to here, but as a learner, this gives me a much better course experience. So that's it. That's how to integrate an Alish course into your Square site or your Weebly site. If you get stuck, can't figure it out, just send us an email. We're always happy to help you and walk you through it. Thanks a lot.